Dangerous visions. So, with probability, we are dealing with the probability of an event happening. Uh, an event could be anything from, I don't know, um, getting ahead when flipping a coin, to it raining next Thursday. Luke. Cooey. And now you're facing the front. Isn't that lovely? If it is a dog, sir. Yes, but uh, let's not kill ourselves <laughs> over it. Yeah, with conditional probability... We are talking about... We've the... done this. Luke, please! <laughs> Sorry, sir. Come on, Luke! But, sir, we've done conditional probability. You did it with us. <laughs> no, we didn't. Mr Adams, there's a phone call. Uh, yes, no, but the class... It's just it sounded rather... Rather... You should take it. Billions by Ed Harris. Excuse me, um, I, I'm going to be following. The, there was a, a blue line on the floor. This is paediatrics. Are you Mr. Adams? Yes. I, um, I don't have long to tell you this, so basically, um, if I just keep to the uh, basics, then, so. Charlie's just gone to bed. It's past midnight. I, I... Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, uh, thanks. <laughs> it, um, <sighs> words. <laughs> It, um, it's brilliant of you. Oh, nonsense. I was, Does she... Uh, oh, sorry. No, I, she doesn't. I, I didn't say anything anyway. Uh, uh, unless she consents, but I don't know. Teenagers are so self-involved. They, uh, um... I just said you've got some news about a friend. Uh, I'll tell her tomorrow. <laughs> if, um... Or at least I won't tell her now. There's, there's no reason to assume anything. I made a salad. Oh. You don't have much in. Oh, that's mm. nice. Um. I sat on the old sofa by the window, drifting through dry, empty thoughts. Rooms you can't fill. Echoless spaces. And drank the bottle of ouzo we brought back from Greece and hated. Halfway through the night... I heard Charlie shuffle to and from the toilet. I I turned out the lamp so she wouldn't come down. Which is when I cried. And I think that was the only time I did. Dad! Bud! Scoot! Why are you even... Oh, sorry, sorry. You're on my homework. Oh. 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 I, um... Is that not it on the table? No, that's chemistry. No, um, is that not it? But you... You marked it. I, um, sorry. I, you can't mark it. my homework. It's for Miss Marsh. Oh, sorry, darling. I, Apparently, I guess... I'm supposed to be nice to you this morning. Who told you that? I don't like Natalie. She's so eerie and little. She's like a borrower. Borrowers aren't eerie. Why am I meant to be nice to you today? Um... What's that on your face? Unadulterated love, why? <laughs> You're wearing enough glitter to choke a pixie. Oh, why do you smell like something died in you? <sighs> do I have to tell the school counsellor? Um, sweetheart, um... You know I was at the, um... The hospital last night. Yeah? Did Natalie tell you any more than that? She told me who did a turd in the canteen microwave. Hmm, but, um... You know, nothing about the... The, the hospital. You went to see a friend. A friend or something with a head injury, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Mum said. Um, uh, um, Mum said? Yeah. When? When she said about being nice to you and that. Mum did. I told you not to wake him. He was on my homework. 
Was he? It was a possibility. How have you done your tie like that? Because that's how we do it now. But it's tiny, Charlie. It looks so stupid. Um, oh, that's Luke. See ya. What's Luke? Good luck with Sorry. your hospital friend, Dad. Uh, um, uh... Is it someone important? Can I have the day off? Out, out, out. Are you even going in, Out. Dad? Bye. <sighs> It's your fault she's sarcastic. She was five foot six, medium build, a faintly perceptible stoop around her shoulders and slim, impish arms that she called lank, and the same darkly sparkling eyes as her daughter, fresh faced, t shirt and jeans, one sock on, the other in her hand. I got jam on it. Donna? Sit down, Mark. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not about to do that. I'm going to stand here. Please, darling, look. look st- 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 please, just tell me what you're doing. Get out of the cutlery drawer. Just, sorry, I, you know, I, I don't want to snap, but do look at me because either, um, uh, because one or two impossible things must have happened while I was sleeping. I thought you knew I was coming. I saw you last night. You had a, um, a, a thing in your neck. Sit down. No. Your wife's put money into a fund in case anything ever happened to her. She... Put money into a fund. There, there should be some literature. Please, looking please, at... please, don't fruit about. Sorry. Who are you? It was so that. Okay, start again. This fund. If there was ever an accident or a fatality, I could come and help you through the grieving process. You and Charlie. There's papers in the drawer. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry if this is a shock. She meant to tell you. You look exactly like her. Thanks. You even... Look, I'll... Sit down, baby, please. I made some coffee. I behave and process stimuli like Donna. I make the decisions that Donna would make. It's sort of based on probability. I don't understand it fully. I mean... Where are you from? A warehouse. Are you still cutting down on sugar, or have we given up on that? Just the, um... Just the tip of the spoon... Originals are encouraged to come in every three months to upload new information, memories. But, so, Luke. Yeah, thanks. And we're fine with that. We're playing along. He's, he's um, going to Dundee. So. Apparently they love each other. She's um, talking about passing up the Oxford offer. I can't believe we've been given that oxygen. No, no, she's, she, she's going. We're going to be super cool in control and it, it'll burn itself out. Does Charlie know? No. Do you want me to tell her? Actually, I, I might. I might go into hospital. Actually. No. Mm, I might. I, I can always um get a sandwich or. Uh, sure. I'll just. Uh, I think there's some work I can be getting along with. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, that, that's great. Uh, cheers. Donna. Yeah. Cheers, Donna. I don't want to sound ungrateful or, or anything. And I, I mean, you obviously thought about it. Uh, Donna, you. I mean, I, I've never lied to a child before. I've never looked at a kid barefaced and gone, you know, that dish is a cup. It'll all be fine still. Oh, the, uh, the flowers at Lily's. I, I always thought tulips for you on any occasion, but apparently the smell of Lily's reminds you of a childhood holiday, so um, I'll find a vase. I'd offer you a coffee, but as you can see, no management team are allowed their own kitchen facilities any longer, since the canteen microwave made the local rag in all its turdy glory. I didn't realise you were a suspect, Mr Willis. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, suspicion has fallen on a, would you believe it, parent or guardian of one of your ten. Oh, no, um... I couldn't say... You're one of the good guys, Mark. <laughs> well, if you uh, 
if you divide the world into those who defecate in microwaves and those who don't, I hope so. Ah, <laughs> you've grown up, aren't you, Mark? I don't have to dress up what I'm here to say in miniature swimsuits with bows and frills. I hope not. Is there anything wrong at home? No. I like to think we're on the same side and that we've got one another's backs. You know what some parents are like, just because their child voices an opinion. Now, look at me, Mark. You can see how boring this is for me to play king. Definitely. I'm just saying, now is a really good time for the old stomach in, chest out, little spark of something in your eye. Especially when we're with, um, in front of this little lot. And especially her. Oh. Year nine. Oh, everyone wants a taste of the fat controller today. <laughs> uh, one moment, thank you. Natalie said you had a call from the hospital last week. Oh, uh, yes. They were indoors? <laughs> no, it's... Thanks, it's 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 quite... It, I mean, it was a fright, but uh, not a scare. Well, that is good news. Have you burnt this little lot into your retinas? This message will self-destruct. <laughs> Got it. And, uh, uh, I just want you to know, this is by no way an official warning. What isn't? Just now. Oh. Uh, thank you. Over time, you, um, you realise you're not the version of yourself you show the world. You are, are less familiar even than that. Here, I'll do that. Hmm? Cutlery. Oh. Bowl in the middle. Bowl in the middle. Just seeing if I can get this lasagna out without dropping it all down my front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Oh, easy. Man, man, man. Oh, uh, <sighs> nice work, Batman. Oh, bums. What? Where did I put the candles? Oh, uh, uh, here they are. I depended on her, and I, I think I resented her. <laughs> you putting candles in the lasagna? I was always afraid, always amazed that I wasn't wounding as much as I felt wounded by her. Well, she won't bloody eat cake, will she? All I can say is at least she eats when she's revising. Yeah. It's just ensuring she's in a constant state of terror that's the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Hello, hello. Hey. What's that T-shirt? Have you put candles in the lasagna? <laughs> what does your T-shirt say? You can read. Yes, it says, die, yuppie, scum. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I think so. Definitely. Happy birthday, Squish. <laughs> oh, just stand there a moment. Can I be fine? Take a photo. <laughs> OK. Stay. Oh, tits. Wait, wait. I'm going to get batteries. Stay. <laughs> Is this Mum's lasagna or yours? Uh, Mum's. Nice. So, how does it feel? Elaborate. 18. Mm, I don't think anything feels different. Well, I guess sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, will Mum be offended if I don't have any lasagna? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it, it won't kill her. Why do you... I'm going to go and see some friends. Oh. OK, um... Can't you pretend? I guess. No, actually, uh, don't worry about it. There's um, there's no point in us all being desperate people, please. Oh, thanks, Bas. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh, <laughs> they look like you like each oh, other. No, no, no. Uh, I'm off out, Mum. Dad said. She looked at me with Donna's almost imperceptible blink of incredulous hatred. How long for? I'll be back in the evening. Well, if you told us that in the first place, I could have done this as an evening meal and not bother getting up early to go to Tesco's. Oh, I didn't know. You walked in and out of here while I was cooking. You saw me cooking. Oh, I didn't know it was for me. I didn't know it was for now. It's OK. It's OK. You can go, Charlie. Again, another glance at me and a blink. Sorry, Mum. Well, just make sure your friends are worth it. I will. Oh, Bums, where's my bag? Oh, it's picking me up. Here it is. OK, well, back late, then. OK, uh, don't put yourself out. Ten's fine. Squidge. Ten is fine. <sighs> um, do you mind if I have some? I don't mind. 
so long as you sit down with a plate. Um, I just thought... You don't need to explain. That it's her birthday. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's, um... Come on. I know this took a while, Donna, but it's... It's not like you'd be doing anything else. Oh, come on! No, wow, no, wow, that really is... Well, you, you know what I mean, you're not real. Your, your feelings aren't real. <laughs> it just feels like they are. Uh, I think it's been 14 months... I know some of you have had yours maybe longer or much longer. Some cases, much longer. <laughs> but 14 months, that's like two birthdays. And I, I... I really tried, and I tried really hard to... So, so OK, birthday the second, I, I bought her this necklace thing. It, you know, it wasn't Elizabeth Taylor, but it was n nice. <laughs> I liked it. She would have liked it. She, she <coughs> did like it. And then we had a lovely meal and uh, she made me laugh. And she was excited, you know. Little eyes looking around the restaurant. My wife's been dead 14 months. <coughs> Go on. I mean, it's all fine now, but... Uh, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know why I'm saying that. I, I do know what happened. I, I snapped. I got really angry. I, I can't bear the thought of turning her off or sending her to whatever, the, the, the warehouse. But I can't bear looking her in the eyes either. Mm. It's the one thing I want and I've got it. And it, it, it hurts. Do you I find how I'm... I hope no one minds. I would love making you can find yourself in really... Compromising Definitely, places. Definitely, I get that. The dark places. Yeah. Mm. Bad bits of you, you know? Yeah. Because they're, like mm. they're like a doll, aren't they? Mm. They're not feeling anything. They're not loving you. They think they are. But I've never been lonelier. I just wanted to say that, so I've said it. I think that's what I mean. I, I hate mm. him. Mine. I hate him so much. <clears throat> I cannot begin. I no, I, I, Could I, um, can I finish that thought? You can, or <clears throat> Mark... Mark, this is your... Second. Second week with us now. Perhaps you're ready to... I mean, however you want to start. I, uh, well, she suggested I okay, came, actually. The, um, the replica. Your wife's in a coma, is that right? Four months now. Um, I'm not here to talk about her. This is reconnaissance. Uh, I just want to know. Um, I... Well, I want to know what to expect. What are their flaws? In what way? Well, I mean, they're objects, aren't they? I'll tell you their flaws. Down to their hair, down to their smell. It is perfect. The flaw is, it's the biggest lie in the world, and it's your oxygen. OK, I please, do. OK. Uh, Does that answer your question? No. No, I, I also want to know, um, how can I make sure I don't end up like you lot? What? Uh. <laughs> Oh, with respect. Mark, we understand your compulsion to be antagonistic. Hell, we've all done it enough in this room, right? Let's take a short break. Mark? Look, I don't have time to be more tactful, so... No, if no. any of your parish feel... I understand. You want reconnaissance. Scott who said about the birthday meal, his wife was hit by a car. Messy, messy, messy. He was there, or something. There's Beth, angry Beth, whose brother died about six months ago. He now lives with her. Weird setup. With respect. Daniel, over there on the phone. Jumper. Jumper grey jeans. He lost his daughter. I mean, that's just one long, unending tragedy unravelling right there. How old? Three weeks. So, he's got a replica of the thing. It's three weeks old. His wife used to come, but they can't both do the same evenings now because they're trying to get the baby into basic rhythms. Oh, don't look shocked. You don't know mine yet. What's yours? I understand reconnaissance. I understand control. Okay. 
these guys in here are on our side. And if they repulse you, if their dependents repulse you... I understand. You don't. Uh, One guy was coming for three years. Turned out last week he'd been dead for two of them. I'm trying to build trust here. So I think things will look better if you go and turn up another evening. Here's my card. If you ever want to talk candidly. But ring first so I can get out. Thanks for coming, Mr. Adams. How did you know my name? Year 11, Celia Pro, but parents' evening. You teach my daughter maths. I recognise your eyes. Of course. <laughs> Mrs. Probert, it's I... It's okay. Don't pretend. Celia's with her foster family now, but... So you might have met a different parent or guardian recently. I always liked you, though. You push her. Thank you. Ring first. Mark. Oh, uh, hello, Doctor. I, um, she likes tulips. Oh, they're gorgeous. Won't be a sec. I'm just grabbing the chart. Oh, um, we tried contacting you last week. Oh? Yeah, we thought we'd seen some movement, one of the nurses. We left you a message. Yeah, um, that's strange. I, I don't think I... But we wanted her and I... there was no change, so either it began and ended or... Wow. No, no, I, I don't think I, I got that message. Your relatives often have a better feel for these things. Yeah, no, I would have sent something. Some... I, I would know. I'd, I'd know. It's funny to think that, um... Oh, excuse oh. me. Oh, come and find me later if you'd like to talk. Yeah. Listen, um... I'm going to have to shoot parents' evening tonight and then... Charlie did the loss of her exams today, so it'd be nice to catch her before she gets too spangled. Besides, the um, the replicas waiting in the car, so get better soon, okay? No hanging about. How did she seem? On the mend. Good. Mark? What time's Charlie heading out? About nine. Mark, is there something I don't know about? What did she say? I don't know. She's talking around something. Example? I don't know. Maybe... Okay. You haven't even looked at the literature, so I don't know why I'm explaining. An original uploads her memories every couple of months, okay? Usually. Donna last attended before Christmas. That's a chunk of time I'm missing. Well, then you know something I don't. I wish I did. Find out. <sighs> what? Okay, what if I find something out that I think you shouldn't know about? Oh, Christ. You're not real, okay? If, if you think like Donna, tell me this. What, what the hell good is, is this replica to me? It, it, it is it, it's just like you to try and control everything from your own bloody deathbed. Donna. <laughs> are we having a strop? Yes, we are. Uh, this, this, uh, this is stupid. I, I'm not arguing with you. Just pull over. So like you. Just pull over. I, I, I can walk the rest. Go home and talk to Charlie. Do what you're told. Wonderful. If you don't do as I say, I, I will. I will go home and I'll tell Charlie the truth. I'll send you back to the warehouse. But I'll, I'll tell Charlie her mum's accident happened today. Now. Why don't you? Why don't you do that? I can walk off a cliff if you like. I can drive your bloody car into a wall if that helps. Do you want me to? Fine. Then maybe treat me with a little more compassion. Good grief. Good and early, aren't we, Mark? Ready for the... Parental onslaught? Oh, Mr. Willis, uh, I got, um, an email. Probably can't discuss it. Well, no, but, uh, it is about Luke. I'm just boiling the kettle with... Uh, no, thank you, Natalie. 
As you can see, golly and gosh, we're allowed kettles again. And I think I might need your paw print on a couple of things, Mr. Willis. Uh, can it wait till after? Mr. Willis. Hello? Uh, if this is about the book incident, what happened was I, I went to pretend to throw it out the window and I, I, I dropped it. Out of your hands and out of mine, I'm afraid. Yeah, the thing is, Luke's smart. He, you know, he's not unlikable at all. It's quite the reverse. Yeah, I'm afraid this isn't a gig for the fat controller, Mark. You have to go all the way up to Ringo for this. Yes, but... It's just so persistently him. I, I, I wouldn't care if it weren't for the rest of the class. Mark. What, we, we, we can't just, um, magic this away. No. Try as we might, we can't just... You know. No, Mark. Can't you claim some sort of... I, th- I think I've been totally reasonable, especially concerning the relationship with my daughter. You know, he's, um... He is your son. No, he is not. Lose, is he then? Ask his bloody mother. I buried my son 12 months ago. You can tell. Hmm? You can't ever tell who are the replicas, but you can always tell who's living with one. Oops, if you so much as waved a year seven register under my nose, I could tell you about eight little boys and 13 little girls who are facsimiles. And Mrs. Flatley and Mr. Craig. The halls are crawling with them. Now, I'm traditional, but yeah, yeah, I think me, I sh- I should there are two types of on. people in this world, the living and the dead. And if you're not one yeah, of well, us... That's, that's probably a uh, contentious subject, isn't it? Uh, I know it's not politically correct, but they do my head in. Zombies. Oh, uh, hi. I, I was. Um... I said to call. I, I said to call. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um. If you don't call, how can I? Sorry, I'll, I'll make tracks. It was. It was only to say hi. I wasn't thinking. We're, he and I. We. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, I'll. Uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, so see you next time. What was that? L- listen, my friends. I'm. I'm cat sitting for a friend. It, it's only up the road, above an off license. Maybe you can. Um, I'll be with you in five minutes, 15 max. What? Um, I, I only wanted. Uh... No, yeah, but, um. It was actually uh, back home, and Donna was working at this little uh, artsy, craftsy place, trinkets. Um, little seagull characters, not Tad. Mm-hmm. And it was over that Christmas. And, I mean, I wasn't even aware that I liked her until one morning she got the coach somewhere, um, to her grounds, I think, and something in me changed and um, it never really went back to how it was again. And your daughter? Daughter was pre-made. Her daughter came with Donna. She'd, she'd been with her dad that Christmas. So none of your own? No. Does anyone know about... Oh, just me and the, uh, uh... Not your stepdaughter. Charlie. Charlie, yeah. No, not, um... Because it, um, it could also still be fine. Don't stand so close to the window. Oh. There's a line of sight in my bathroom. Should I close the curtains? What's the problem? What's happened? I can't, um, focus. I, I, I don't know who to talk to except... Donna, I, I need your opinion. I, I need your advice. Yes? Because you know Donna better than anyone you, you think and behave and you, um, you process things identically. Well, not identically, but... Can I cuddle you? No, at least? no. Um, you really can't because you'll hate me. I um. There was this woman at therapy. At... I understand. No, 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 no. You don't because if you say that, then you don't because 
I'd never do that. I, I would never. It's not like there was this big mad chemistry thing explosion. It just. I'm not the victim, Donna. It, it's not about me. It's Donna's the victim. But how would she feel? How would Donna want me to behave now? Because you know her. You can process that. It's not an exact science. It's probability. Yeah, but that's the problem. You... The problem is that you are so similar. If I were able to distinguish you, if, if you were a, a bit of a, a crap version, if, if you didn't work very well, that would be fine. But if, if I can't tell the difference between you, then, then how well do I know Donna or, or anyone or myself? I... Did you have a look at the literature, Mark? You can tell me what I should do. You can tell me what Donna would want me to do. Darling. <laughs> if there's a problem, if you and this woman, you know, for that to happen... In order for that to happen, there's got to be a problem, really, hasn't there? I'd, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think it wouldn't happen if there wasn't a problem. I don't know. So, so you know, I can change my settings. How do you mean? I only have this expression on my face or construct my sentences this badly, <laughs> essentially, because it's my settings. I can be more anything. More practical or less practical or more patient or spontaneous. Really? Anything. I'd like you to be less like Donna. Okay. 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 Good. So y you, um, you. I'll, I'll put in some changes. It, it'll just take ten minutes. Okay. Do you smell of cat? Okay. 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 Um. Congratulations on yada 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 years of trouble free companionship. Love the one you're with, you're with the one you love. Da -da -da -da. Donna? Donna, it, it's been 50 minutes. Uh, reboot. Um, page 16. Uh, manual reboot. Okay, okay. Open shoulder compartment C. It, it's smooth. There's, there's no. Oh. D Donna. L little noise, please. Oh, shit. Oh, God, may that not have happened. Oh. Donna, oh, hell. Hell, oh, fuck. Okay, 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 I'm going to put you upstairs, okay, I'm not going to put you upstairs. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, there we are. Okay, there we are. Whoa! Oh, what's wrong with that? Um, okay, don't look at her, look, 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 look at me. Okay, no, I, I, I spoke to your dad earlier on today, Luke, so don't, just don't, don't think for, for a second, because I know exactly what you are. Mm. Um... Has she been on reboot? Look, because if you say one word to Charlie about this, then... Mr. I, Adams, I can only react how Luke would react. Do you really want her to know that the, 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 the two, two people that, that she knows, two of them, are... are OK, I've got it. What's going on? What's going on? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie look at me. OK, don't stress out. It's OK. Mum? No, 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 no. Nothing's wrong. It's not like that. She's not breathing. Dad, is she breathing? She's not breathing, Luke. Charlie, uh, OK. Dad! She's not breathing! Ted, why are you just standing there? Luke, find someone. Find someone. She's a replica, Charlie. Look, just get out! Look, get, get out of this house. Is she a replica, Dad? She's a replica. We got one when Grandad died. We got one for Grandma. Oh, my God. Is Mum dead? Dad. Luke's a replica, too. Is it... Mum dead? No, no, but... She's unwell. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this is... Oh, my God, why... What are you doing to me? Why have we got a replica? Because she turned up, Squidge. It's not my fault. I didn't order it. it... 
It was your mum's stupid idea. Just turn bring it up. Bring a cab. I, bring a cab. I just don't, just ring me a cab. Where is she? In St Anne's, the ITU. She, she had an accident, and and she's she's in a coma. Oh. Luke. I'm not getting any reception. Oh, come outside. He's one too. Uh, yeah, um, we need a cab, please. Yes. Squidge. Um, yeah, 25 I spoke minutes. to Mr. Willis today about why Luke's behaviour yeah, hasn't changed. Don't. And as soon as possible, please. He is. He is one too, he no, is. No, shut up. It'll be 10 to 15 minutes. Thanks. Go home now, please. Do you want me to come with? <sighs> look, Charlie. Look, just go home, Luke! Squidge, look, I'll... I'll take you, but we don't need a cab. You've done enough. I'm you... taking the cab. I don't want to see you. I'll wait outside and watch the cab. Come. Really, go home. I'll wait but outside. There's no, there's no point, love. No, I'm... Dad. I'm waiting outside. For God's sake, Charlie! This was all some ridiculous idea of your mother's. I, I didn't know. She, she just turned up. Charlie! Mark, sweetheart, what are you doing all the way over there? You're letting the cold in. Charlie knows. Honey, think softly. It's only been a week. We know where she is. She's two blocks that way, staying with Luke's mother. She's safe. And all this, all of this, none of this is your fault. I lied to her. What you did, no, look at me. What you did was love too hard. Protect her too well. Okay. Do you want bubbles? Oh, actually, is there like um, a bath oil instead? Yeah. The hospital keeps ringing. You need to get into that bar and chill out. Now, too hot? No, no. You getting in? I was going to... Get in. All right. Now, there's a smile I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We, you and I, we'd, um, we'd always been funny instead of kind. But living with this stranger, we were like, um, two soft animals rubbing along together. She was sillier, um, more sensitive, sometimes even very annoying, and really annoying. I mean, it's not like anyone had created some perfect, you know, it's, um, it's hard to explain. I mean, I think I love you because that's what my brain tells me and my body, but, you know, it's the same with them. Then one afternoon, I came home from school. Hi, hi, Charlie. All right. We're doing coffee in the... I found this great big percolator thing. How long have that? <laughs> That's, um... Look at that. Yeah, you see that, Charlie? Did you see Mum? Uh, yes. Yeah, I was, um, I was just there. Have you been? I went before. Is it only me for milk? Well, it's... It, um, it's nice to see your face. How is she? Not remarkably well. She, um... She has pneumonia. It's it's not uncommon when the body is so weak. They asked me, uh, us, what we thought about resuscitation. Should anything... Charlie and I were talking, weren't we, Charlie? <sighs> really? Charlie was talking to me. OK. Um... Before... Before Mum's accident, there was this period, like, completely from nowhere, right? Well, not completely, but, like, I got pregnant, <laughs> Mum knew. Um, it wasn't uh, Luke's. 
but <laughs> it was this other guy. But Luke, like, we talked, and anyway, Luke's wasn't the problem. I told Mum, and Mum was basically... Mum basically bullied me. Not bullied, but because we talked and everything, and it's not like she wasn't sympathetic, but... <sighs> But basically, I ended up feeling like I'd be stupid if I had it, and I'd be screwing up my life, and blah, 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 and that. Anyway, so it turns out I was wrong. Because I want it. Squidge, um, you know that there's all the time in the world for that. No, I mean like now. Tell Dad why. Because it's dead. It's killed. And she made me feel like it was my decision. And, yeah. It wasn't. She never told me. Keep going, Squidge. I talked with Luke, and he's totally okay with basically whatever I'm totally okay with. So, basically, he loves me. He can't help it. But it was his idea for me to talk to you. About... About, I've done my A-levels now and I can always go to Oxford as a mature student later on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, what, what, what about that? No, this was, my, I'm, I, mean, I mean, for God's sake, no. I mean, this is, this is why I tried to protect you, Charlie. I'm going to have a baby. No, sweetheart. And you can carry on with this, her. Donna. Yeah, but I have to know you're actually on my side from now on and properly, you know? But, but what will a child add to your life now? Charlie. It will love me unconditionally. It won't betray me. And Luke... Luke's cool with it, and obviously he can't be the real dad, but he can be like you. So whatever you have to tell them, the hospital, it's fine. Which brings us up to now. Donna. I'm happy. And, um... I hope that in, in, in some way you're happy for me. I... I don't know how people do this. Oh. Sorry, I, I won't be moved. No, that's... I... I don't know if you can hear the difference to her breathing that the doctor mentioned. No, she's... Uh, yes. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just updating her forms. OK. Bye. Oh, nurse, I'm sorry. How... Um, how long? Without intervention, 24 hours. She's not a well woman. It will be very, very peaceful. Mm. Um, thank you. It's a stupid thing to say, but... I'd sooner say thank you than goodbye. And that I'll show Charlie every day. We both will. We'll, um... We'll show Charlie how much you loved her. Good night, lovely. Do you want to say anything, Charlie? No, thanks. Okay, Squidge. You ready to shuffle off? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Carl. Did you give him the papers? Yes. yes. In Billions by Ed Harris. Yeah. Mark was Blake Ritson, Donna Raquel Cassidy, Charlie Lizzie Watts, Natalie Claire Corbett, Kay Philippa Stanton, Mr. Willis Robert Blythe, Luke Will Howard, Scott Michael Shelford, and the doctor Amaka Okafor. The director was John Quill Panting.